Today, we will be discussing black cherry, Prunus serotina, or as some people like to say, Prunus serotina. Here is the native range for this plant in the green. Black cherry trees like different forms of sun and soil depending on where they are located and what variety they are. But for our purposes, we're gonna say sun, part shade, shade. We're gonna say dry or moist soil. And they get 25 to 110 feet tall and I consider them a shade tree. And in different areas, they might be more shrubby, so keep that in mind. They have white blooms and they bloom in April where I live here in East Tennessee. Their native habitat is moist or dry open woods, fence rows, roadsides, old fields, thickets, woodlands, canyons, floodplains, and lower riparian slopes. Thank you guys so much for 700 subscribers. Okay, so here was my little black cherry tree when I first planted it in the ground in 2020. Super tiny, and then it grew pretty quickly. This is a fast-growing tree, and I wanted a tree that would give us some shade. We had no mature trees on our property, but our neighbors had mature trees, and I really wanted at least one larger tree. Native cherry trees are second only to our native oaks when it comes to the wildlife uh, habitat that they provide and the hosting opportunities they provide. They provide hundreds of lepidopter species with hosting opportunities. And not only that, but they also have really beautiful bark and really beautiful branches. And I'm showing you that right here. As they mature, they start to get the, the kind of the cracky look, but um, they start out with just these lenticels, I think is what it's called. And then um, the blooms start out like this in the early spring, and then they bloom out to this. And this year, 2024, was the first time I noticed a lot of activity on the blooms. Because we finally had this huge display of blooms this year. And the little tiny butterflies, I think they're hair streaks of some kind, really loved these blooms and so did little tiny bees and little tiny wasps. So I think that I would say they are really good for pollinators all around. You get the blooms, you get the host, um, you get it as a host plant for its leaves. And so you can't really go wrong with this tree, um, except it does kind of get messy according to the internet. It might drop branches, it might drop the fruits, but in my experience, the birds eat the fruits pretty quickly. And there's a lightning bug on the tree. The tree turns a yellow in the fall, and this is just a transition here. You can see some of the leaves are yellow and some are green. And so it'll gradually change over to a yellow and it kind of gets more of a golden yellow as fall goes on. I think it's a really pretty fall color. I think that it's good to plant other colors of fall colors with it though so that it has some contrast. And then here you go. Here is a, uh, an eastern tiger swallowtail on the black cherry tree. And I don't know for sure, but it looks like it could have been laying an egg. Not 100% certain. The footage is too far away. I didn't want to scare it off, so I stayed, I stayed at my window, actually. Because they tend to fly away pretty quick if I go all the way up to them. And so here's the bloom again. And you can see these little tiny hair streaks fluttering around the blooms and sipping on the nectar. They stayed on the blooms for a long time. So I think that they are really valuable for drawing in the butterflies and drawing in the little, the little tiny bees and things like that. I describe these blooms as conical or cylindrical, but online they call them racemes. I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but racemes or racemes, I, I don't know. Um, so take that with what you will, but I think they are pretty attractive, and I think that they are an underrated plant. They are our native cherries here in East Tennessee.
And then here are the cherries. They start out green, and as the season goes on, they turn red, which I think that's beautiful. I love the red. And then they gradually change from red to black as they ripen. And once they ripen, well, they're probably not going to be on there long because the birds absolutely go bananas. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helped you decide whether you want a black cherry tree or not. Bye, guys! Merch inspired by the creatures, plants, and objects in my garden. Available now at macylou.com. Thanks for supporting the channel and the wildlife habitat we create. To support the channel, like the video, comment, and subscribe. You can also support my work by buying art from me at macylou.com. Thanks for watching!